Hey guys, I was wanting to show you, um, let me get the box. Uh, okay, here is the box that they ship uh, these filters in. It's called Crystal Quest and they're made in the USA. But uh, I wanted to show you all. Now th these, this I didn't get, these ain't new. These are the used ones that I had and I was curious about what was inside of them. Uh, that filter water. And I was wanting to show you all. Now I got the uh, countertop water filters and they look like this. And they got Crystal Quest on the uh, outside of them. And you got a water line that hooks up to it. And then you got this knob on the back that turns it on and off if you want to use this. But these, okay, I'm going to read off to you. These are what I ordered in the past. And, um,. I want to make sure this is the one that I printed off and not the new one. Okay, it's not. All right, th so what I'm about to read to you is these here. Okay. Uh, one's supposed to be a multi stage plus a fluoride removal. And, whoops, I guess the other one is supposed to just be a multi stage um, water filter. But, I opened them both up, and I'm a, I can open this one up and I can show you um, what they look like. They look the same. So, I, I don't know. I'm thinking, I'll have to go back and look at my, my order, but I'm pretty sure that during the time they was making these filters, they made them together where there was fluoride and the multi-stage so there's actually two of the same in, inside those but they've upgraded since then because now i ordered one that and it came in today or yesterday one was white and then the other was blue and the blue one was the fluoride uh it's called a smart f filter and the other one was just uh, a multi-stage chlorinated chlorine chloramine removal so you they they're each different so now when those expire i'm going to open them and see if they're made of the, the same material of this stuff but here's these that i'm going to read off to you it's called fluoride removal plus smart filter cartridge and a one-time purchase of course it was 59 dollars and, it, and now they got this new thing where if you you subscribe, you can save 5%, which is $56.05. Uh, but if you want to go to crystalquest.com and look up CQERC04049, um, you can see that these, that's what this here fits those, that counter, on the top, countertop ones. Um... It says, combination of multi-stage plus and fluoride removal filter cartridge. This cartridge also contains two 1 million filter pads, Eagle Paddocks Alloys 6500 and 9500, and Coconut Shell GAC Media. Uh, construction materials are the polyurethane, whatever, in caps, inner and outer wraps, and then the netting. Uh, capacity of estimate is depend on inefficient or influent water contaminants and filter usage. Cartridge color is subject to change without notice, which they do because these two are green and uh, the other one, that my new ones, are white and blue. This fluoride filter system media will accommodate for fluoride removal on multiple water that consists of inorganic fluoride. If fluoride is organic of I can't hardly read. I, I had too much caffeine today. Um, of inorganic fluoride. If fluoride is organic or from natural water sources such as well water, I, please speak with 
a Crystal Quest associate for system recommendation. Now, these, they put these little bullets that they put, they put that on all their filters at the bottom. But uh, let's get to the nitty gritty. Let me show you what's inside these. Now, to get these off, I had to pry. They got like a glue. Sorry, forgive me for my dishes. Uh, they got some glue all around the side of the edges. And you have to pry this cap off. Like, not pry it off, but just to break the, the seal of the glue. And then you can just spin these off. They're, they screw on and off. But it looks like coffee grimes down in there is what it looks like. But it's actually the charcoal or um, stuff that they put in there. And this right here on the top is the pad that they talk about in the, the paper here. It says, uh, where did I see? There it is. Has two one micro micron filter pads. And then the Eagle Red Ox Alloy 6500 and 9500 Coconut Shell GAC Media. So I'm guessing the white stuff is the coconut stuff that they talk about that's supposed to help remove the fluoride contaminants. And then the charcoal, the regular black stuff, would be the um, stuff that uh, removes chloramine, chlorine, um, and the heavy metals contaminants in the water. But uh, I'm not going to take that out, the pad. I took the other pad out, and that's all that you see is they, they got in there. That's, you know, when you take his pad out, that's all. It looks like coffee grinds, but it's the coconut shell and charcoal or, um, filtration stuff. And then, of course, I opened this one, too, and it looked identical, the same. And I, I thought, well, you know, am I getting ripped off here or what? So I went back and pulled up my last order. And the, they, they're both multi-stage. They, they do the both, you know. So I didn't know that. I was th assuming or thinking one did the other and then the other was different. But they always do updates to their stuff. So we'll see what the... When these here expire, what they if they look like this, the same or not. But I hope this helps. You know, I was thinking I was going to see some, um, oh, what do they call it? Um, calcium buildup or composites inside these. And white gucky stuff. But you don't really see that. Like I said, it's... If I can move this. See, that's all. That's what it looks like. It's just white and black stuff. And, you know, it makes sense when you first turn these on. Um, you get this black charcoal stuff that comes out. And you're supposed to let them run for a good 15 minutes until that charcoal comes out. The coating or powder that's in there before you drink the water um but it, this is what it looks like when it comes out it's clear now i've let mine run for 15 minutes all clean i, t I did tell you uh, i noticed when i put the new one in something happened um i was getting on this one here there was water seeping out of here and it was leaking and what it is it when you take these off you've got the if you look at the end of them you've got these white crystal well the clear rubber rings there's two of them on 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 the lid part and mine was when I was tightening it it was causing the ring to slip, and it was coming, but 
getting out of the groove that they come on and it was causing a leak so I recommend you all if you uh, when you change them out uh, to put some kind of like um, slick maybe some um, like um, cooking oil would probably be a good suggestion to try around the rings so when you put these back on that the rings don't catch and then work themselves out of the grooves now what I did to make sure I used a uh, Permatex it's a sealant uh, that you use on like um, automotive stuff to seal you know oil gaskets and stuff um, and then I tightened them down and let it dry and that fixed the, the leak now the water filters are filtering the water so I'm not worried about the um, epoxy sealant or whatever stuff that I use gasket sealant you know that's going to contaminate my water I know it's going to be safe to drink um, but that stopped the leak so it don't leak no more but uh, that was one of the things that I used. Uh, I would recommend trying to use like natural cooking oils and stuff like that. Um, but I like the system. Um, I did a test on the PPMs of the water and it was like a 235, I think, is what it said on the PPMs, which is good. Um, the World Health Organization has um, their regular okay water to drink is at a I think it's a thousand ppms or a hundred thousand I don't I think it was a hundred thousand but you can look it up on the World Health Organization and they say good is 600 and under is good so you know here in America though we like our water crystal clear we don't want no pharmaceutical drugs in it. We don't want no heavy metals, some chlorine, chloramine. We don't want fluoride definitely in our water. Because fluoride, there, it's, there's no way to get it out of our body. It um, just it goes to our bones. It's not supposed to be in a part of us, a part of, part of our bodies. And yet they put it in our water. And that's why people get bone spurs, uh, calcium buildups on, on like the outside of the bone. And you, uh, as you get older, you know, you get these rough spots on the bone. And then when you walk, the, the muscle tissue that stretches and, and rubs against those bones of ours, they start to wear. And it's like sandpaper. It starts to grind away at the muscle tissue and it builds up scar tissue on the inside of the muscles and eventually you start to hurt you start getting pains and and muscular deficiency something they called it so I don't know the health technical word for it I'm not a doctor don't have a degree in it um, but I read up on you know how fluoride um, sticks to our bones and you know it goes straight to our bones because it has no way else to get out of our body you, we don't excrete it out through our bodily fluids it stays in our body um but you know we're not europe we're not um smart our government uh, officials or politicians they're they want it in the water so I, uh, you know, the only way to get take care of it is us, the owner of the house is, or you know, you drink it. You got to depend on other companies to make it filtration for you. Some are better than others, but uh, I hope this helps somebody. I was always curious what was inside of them. Now I know. So continue drinking your waters clean and knowing that these companies are helping us live longer and healthier. Again, this is Crystal Quest water filters, and I'm just an average, everyday user like you all.
I don't work for Crystal Quest. I'm not a representative of them, but I do use their filters, and I believe they work. Yeah. You know, I've done, as they the water filters continue to work and stuff, I always do water checks, PPMs, and the numbers do get higher. Of course, that's normal. I've, I think the highest that I've read on one of my tests is like a four something, 425, 430. So usually when it gets about that high, I know that they need to be changed out and I'll go ahead and order them and change them out. But uh, again, y'all wonder what calcium buildup is. I just seen it here on my water fountain or thing. Right here, that white, see it all around there? That's calcium deposit, and that's in our water. And you wonder, like, how we get um, that stuff that builds up in our bodies, uh, the calcium deposit causes... Um, Oh, uh, what is it called? It's, uh, we, you get, uh, blockage in, in your, your urethra, and they hurt really bad. I can't think of the name of it. But anyways, that's what causes those blockages, and then you have to pass some stones. It's like some kind of gallbladder stones, or I think. That's what causes those, is that buildup. Well, uh, that, that makes it to the end of this video, I guess. Take care, and God bless y'all. Be safe. Much love, and bye.